Hey folks, Robbie here, RV Sales of Oregon. Uh, today we're taking a look at this class B plus uh, Coachman Concord. Uh, they call it a B plus because it doesn't have the overhead cab. That's an entertainment system. So that's that's why it's not a class C if you're wondering. Um, this is a 30 foot model. It's a 300 SS is the model, 2011 uh, Ford V10 for a motor on a 450 chassis. Um, a lot of people don't realize uh, what the 450 does for you. Obviously you can put a little bit more weight on it than a 350 chassis. Uh, what's unknown by a lot of people is you actually have a wider front axle so you can turn a little bit tighter on the bigger chassis just fun fact most people don't know that um anyway full body paint on this rig not something you normally see on a class b or a c um, if you're unfamiliar full body paint means these are not stickers they're not decals they're not going to pay they're not going to um peel and fade on you really quickly like decals do um so i mean this is a 2011 it's 12 years old now in another 10 years if you you know take half as good a care of it as it's been taken care of so far it's still going to look like this it's not going to peel and look like a 30 year old rig 10 years down the road um, so really nice setup there newer tires these are from 2021 so nothing to concern yourself with there and i think it was the closer to 2022 the tire was created the last week of 2021 so probably mounted in 2022 so you got about a year old tires on here side mounted camera super nice you flip your blinker on and it'll cover your blind spot so you always know uh, what's in your corner there without having to. i mean you have mirrors too but nice to have the the camera and it flips on right when the blinkers go on and you do have a backup camera in the rear um let's just do a quick walk around on the let's go this way um, but real attractive front end again ford v10 in here super low miles i, I, I was just going to check but i think it's right around 23 24 000 miles uh if i'm off by a few thousand i apologize but it's right in that around that mark um, the big wide mirrors on it uh, these are heated and powered from the inside um, fiberglass front cap on it and on this big long uh, i think it's about two and a half foot slide here that gives you a nice lot of room on the inside you have the awning cover there where those come in handy is as you know you don't always have a cover to park them in or sometimes you're parked under trees having that up there keeping debris off of these seals here is going to make it last a lot longer um, not just that but it is one more uh, protection against moisture getting into the rig but um, nice touch there um, it comes out with the rig you don't have to do anything extra um, our generator exhaust is right there i believe we are a 5,500 watt gas generator. Um, I'm pretty confident in that. D double check me. If you have any questions, please just ask me when you reach out to me. I believe it's a 5,500 watt own-in gas generator. So it runs off the same fuel tank as your, uh, as your motor does. I'm not gonna go into all the basement there because I don't feel like hitting my head 10 times. So uh, I'll just tell you what I remember. Um, your biggest bay of storage is right there in the center. Um, eh, you know what, here. I shouldn't be lazy, let's see. Oh, perfect. It's locked. Okay. Ask me for a picture. I'll get you a picture. Uh, but yeah, so small storage there. I'm kind of skipping it because your main storage is in the back. If you're looking for storage, that's the one you're really going to care about. Um, but you do have this guy here as we're walking by. This is a sewer tank, tank flush. So works like a, a sprinkler in there. Clean out your tank so you don't have any residual smells after you dump it. Um, fuel tank here. I believe you're a 75 gallon fuel tank. Uh, and then here we have your shore power connections and your outside shower so there's a little nozzle you can go on that you can hang it up there or you know whatever you want to do with it maybe it's just for cleaning your shoes off and you just leave it as it is but anyway shore power and outside shower right there and then here is a big bay of storage that kind of makes the rest of it not even worth talking about so i apologize there's some stuff in there we just got this rig in but you'll see it carries that way quite a bit and then it's it's full all the way across with three access doors to it and you'll see that white uh, circle shaped thing is actually a table that sits in there. So you can actually carry tables with you, things like that. Have it set up for a little outside sitting space. And then I love that the way these are sunken so you won't have stuff rolling around in here. You can put things like water bottles and, and loose items and they won't fly around on you. So ton of storage, not used to seeing that on B's and C's, um, but definitely makes the rig a whole lot more usable having that. Um, you can stay out with it a lot longer when you can store stuff like that. Um, the backup camera that I mentioned to you that does have night vision on it and there's a microphone on it too. So if, uh, if your wife or your husband likes to yell at you when you're backing up, you can hear them. There's also a mute button if you need that too. Um, you are hooked up, you are set up for uh, towing here. Um, I believe you're 7,000 pounds at the receiver. Pardon me, 5,000 pounds at the receiver. So uh, towing a small car, things like that, you'll be just fine. These motors make plenty of power. I think they're about 330 horsepower. So for this size of a unit, more than enough. Um, we do have our manual awning here. It is a nice long one. I would guess about 16 feet, just eyeballing it, and then comes out about 10 feet. So it gives you a really nice patio space. 
Um, and I love that there's no slide on this side in the patio space, so it's an it's un unobstructed patio space. Um, you have a power outlet here and cable hookups, or not cable hookups, pardon me, a cable outlet there. If you hook up the park cable, you set a TV out here and use the outside patio space. Fridge exhaust, furnace exhaust, water heater exhaust, nothing, nothing too much to stop about. Um, we do have some outside speakers just below the awning here that's controlled from the inside. And uh, honestly, one of my favorite features to use on these things is just, you know, when you're outside enjoying the great outdoors to have some music as your soundtrack. All right. Well, I'll admit my bias. I think it is an absolutely wonderful floor plan. It's cozy, it's plush, you have plenty of room and you're still under 30 feet with a really low profile. I, I don't know that I've seen 30 feet put together this well. Again, that's my opinion. So um, anyway, in the cockpit here, I'll go quick. Not too much to talk about. Kind of your standard Ford cockpit. Um, here's your main monitor. That'll show you your backup cameras, your side mounted cameras. It's, it's, it's your stereo and everything here. So kind of your smart uh, infotainment system is the new slang that they call it. Other than that, heated mirrors. I already told you that on the outside. You do have an auxiliary start here that'll tie your house and chassis batteries together to jump you if one inside of that is dead. Um, other than that, pretty standard. You're a four speed with overdrive, standard transmission on these V10s. Um, oh, and since I'm here, okay, never mind. Yeah. So I was going to check mileage, but I, I think we're right around that 24, 25 mark. So just double check me or it's probably on the website. If you're on my website right now watching this. All right. Um, here we have a, uh, I believe this is yeah, so this is a trifold bed. So the way it does it, it'll kind of, uh, the bottom will fold into two pieces and the back folds down. So you don't have any big creases in it. They're super comfortable. They're hands down my favorite setup. I'm not a big fan of the scissor beds. There's always that crack in the middle. And the pullout beds, I, I think, are just, they're good for a little while. And the mattresses are always awful. But the trifold bed, I think, is the winning way to go. That's what's in here. Um, you have a nice view of your entertainment system up front. Some speakers on both sides. Um, newer TV, I, that still has a plastic on it. Um, but yeah, good size TV. I believe that's a smart Samsung TV. Um, and then these, these entertainment systems are great. So this is Bluetooth. It'll play DVDs, CDs, uh, auxiliary ports. You can put stuff in it through a USB port. So you can uh, you know watch DVDs on your TV through here. You can also just use this as a stereo for your inside, outside speakers, radio, um, everything like that. So, so super handy. You don't have to carry any extra items with you to do any of those things. Um, this rig is set up for uh, satellite TV. Now, again, that's not a free uh, service, so you will have to pay Dish or DirecTV for a monthly fee to have a satellite TV, but nothing else. Everything's already installed. It's plug and play and ready to go. So if that's something you're planning on doing, uh, we can save you a few bucks by, you know, not having to do that for you. Um, so I set up there. Oh, nice little skylight here. Um, really, I mean, there's good lighting in here no matter what, but um, you can't really have too much. Um, so nice there. Um, good storage throughout this thing. I apologize. There's stuff in here. I wanted to get this video done before we even had a chance to clean it. And um, again, back to my opinions. I just love how it's not a bunch of right angles in here where it's like it's cozy. It kind of has its own character to it. It almost has like a, a, a boat feel to it or airplane where it's just kind of these rounded edges, not a bunch of straight lines. You got some curvature in the counter. Um, as you want to say, it's a solid surface counter. Um, nice touch there. Good job, Coachman. Um, it's just really, really well done. Um, personally, I like it a lot. Uh, eight cubic foot, Dometic, two-way fridge. Uh, it's gas and electric. Um, you have the, the farm style sink. I don't know if it's called farm style because it's round, but single den sink. Um, I think that's the way to go. I'm not a huge fan of double dens. I think that's more functional, but that's just me. Um, and then microwave, convection oven down below, three burner stove. Um, and I'm not sure who makes this. Let's see. Half time oven. I'm not sure that's correct. So I, anyway, I'm not sure who the manufacturer is, but three burner stove, microwave convection oven, hood fan with a light right above it. So keep all those smells out and see what you're doing. Um, super plush dinette. Um, I know you can't feel these in a video, but super duper comfortable. Take my word for it. Um, that'll fold down and make into a bed. So it makes it into a really good bed next to that really good bed. So you could easily sleep four out here um, fairly comfortably. So um, depending on who it is, you know, two kids on here, no problem. You know, six foot eight gentlemen. Maybe he has that bed by himself. Um, control panels all right here, easy to get to, super simple. It's not spaced out around the rig, so you're not searching for it, um, forgetting where everything is, but just your slide control, start your gen, take your tanks, water pump on, um, gas or electric water heater. I hadn't mentioned that yet, but it's a 10 gallon gas electric water heater. You can select it there, and you do have heated tanks on here. 
Um, actually, while I'm on that, this is, you rarely hear about a, an RVB in a Four Seasons package, but this, they're not branded that way, but this is as close to it as you're gonna come. Um, you have the upgraded AC units, 15,000 BTU. You have a bigger furnace in here. Um, you have the heated tanks, and then you are an R19 rated ceiling with an R13 rated wall. And um, something that's really cool about the Coachman's too is they don't, mo most rigs are put together on the outside wall. It's like a Luan wood board and fiberglass epoxy to it. And that's fine. It's worked for decades. It's good. But when you see delamination, that's because they've separated what Coachman does. And let me see if I can give you an example. Um, uh, shoot, normally you can see in the door jam. Um, but no, you can't. Anyway, it, instead of using Luan, they use a composite board and it's like a plastic board and it really does not fail. You'll never see these coach ones with delamination. It also has a really nice insulator. I think it's called a Estelle is the, the company that makes it. Um, you can look more into it if that's interesting to you, but, but I think it's neat. You're not gonna see delamination on it. And with that full body paint and having that underneath the fiberglass, it, this should be a beautiful rig for a long time. Um, your controls for your heat here and then split bathroom so you have a good size shower here pocket doors on either side or pardon me pocket door on this side and then your commode door doubles as the door for um this side um good size shower i'm about six three i can get in here get my arms up get them most of the way out you know do just fine so do what i need to do um the commode is a good size too a porcelain potty with just the step side. Honestly, I think that's there's no need to overcomplicate a toilet. Uh, but you do get some extra storage above the toilet there, some storage in your vanity, and a nice little sink in there too. So you guys have uh, separate spaces. Uh, what I like these is if someone's showering, they're not taking up the whole bathroom. Um, in the rear, we have our walk around queen bed. A uh, little bit more space on this side, and you do have a small step up, but it really doesn't affect anything. I'm, again, 6'3", and I can stand up with that, so no problem. I love the curvatures of your, uh, your nightstand storage there. Uh, again, just gives it some character, and you do have outlets tucked away underneath here, so if you're running anything like a CPAP machine or anything like that, um, you won't you know you, you won't have to fight over a side you both have outlets and i don't know if this was done on purpose but this material they use to line it is kind of a foam one so i'd imagine if you were running something like a cpap um you could put it in there and it's going to be a little bit kind of insulated on the noise so um i haven't tested that I'm just thinking out loud but kind of a neat thing that they did also if you bump your head it's going to hurt a lot less than if it was just wood um, good storage on either side and again it's um that you have that raise up because we have that big storage bay that we looked at from the outside so you know a little bit of a trade-off but i'd say 100 percent worth it i wouldn't i wouldn't trade it back over the world uh that's the storage that you want um and then let's see we do have nope that's right it's all outside storage pardon me that's why it goes back this far um nice little coat rack here again this is your pocket door whoop, whoop. Um, and then a nice little tv it could easily be updated i think it's probably the original one that came with it i'm sure it works just fine but if uh if you're big tv folks you might want to let us update that for you um Doing that, let me think here. Come on back. Uh, fantastic fan above me in the ceiling. These things push air like crazy. They're called a fantastic fan, but I also think they're fantastic, just to be clear. Um, ducted AC, so your AC is not coming out of just the unit, uh, the AC unit itself. It's ducted throughout the roof. Um, and I think I'll leave it at that, guys. Um, super low mileage, 2011 Coachman Concrete. It's a 30-foot rig, still getting to state parks, you know, the forest service land, everything like that. Have a lot more options when you're 30 feet and under. So um, to me, it feels kind of like it's a Class A in the cabin itself, um, but you have all the benefits of it not being a Class A, where you have a much lower profile, um, not going to catch as much wind. Uh, your average person is going to be much more comfortable driving something like this, too. Um, you're going to be able to take it anywhere, and it's like shoot i mean yeah it's a 2011 but there's hardly any cosmetic you know um problems with it at all i know there's no mechanical problems that much we can guarantee to you um just a clean rig low miles uh cared for was kept under cover its whole life um fiberglass roof i mean just really well built it's a it's a smart rig to get into and if it's a floor plan that works for you i guarantee you'll be happy for years so um thank you guys for checking out this video 2011 coachman conquered uh 300 ss 3 301 301 SS. See you guys in the next video.